In today's video, I'm going to teach you how you can access Google Gemini on your iPhone because there's no dedicated app for it just yet. The first thing we're going to want to do is go over to the App Store, hit the search button, and then type in the Google app. And then you want to download Google. It says you search with AI images and text. Simply select on download. This is going to install the Google app on your iPhone, but then you also have the toggle that you can turn on to allow Gemini on there as well. Once the app is downloaded, simply select on open. And then I'd recommend in the top right hand corner, selecting on the profile photo and then signing in with an account. Now that you've signed into your account, what you'll see is where it says Google search. There's also the little Gemini icon that you can use to toggle between Google search and Gemini conversations. From here, you can choose what activity Gemini has access to. You can either go, I agree or no thanks. If you don't want to use it, I'm going to go, I agree. And then here you can actually start using Gemini. From here, you can, of course, use the talk type or share a photo to interact with Gemini. We can, of course, say, hi, how are you? Uh, and this will allow Gemini to respond. Um, the cool thing about Gemini is that you can actually uh, use the speaker here. Thanks for asking. I'm always learning and improving. And it can dictate the response back to you. But for now, you can't actually have it dictate automatically. So even if we use the voice input, what is the difference between Gemini and Google? You see is it will give you the answer back in text, even if you speak into it, uh, but it will eventually get the ability to uh, dictate answers back. A cool feature with Gemini as well is the fact that you can select in the ellipses here and you can, of course, export it to docs and draft and Gmail but there's an option of modifying the response. So you can make it uh, shorter, longer, simpler. So if I go make it a simpler answer, it will just redo and shorten and simplify that answer that Gemini has given me. Um, and then of course you can use the photo option as well. So you can import a photo uh, or you can go ahead and take a photo of something. So I'm gonna take a photo of this mouse, it's a bit old now. What mouse is this? In the wild, where the trees sway, there's a fox spreading gay. Oh, yeah. With a smile. And you can see here it's found out that it appears to be the Logitech MX Master 3, which uh, it says 3S here, but Master 3 looks basically the same. Uh, another feature or another thing you may want to know is how to turn off access to Gemini. So to do that, you want to select on your profile. photo. Another thing with Gemini is if you select on your profile photo, you can select on extensions and you can choose to enable or disable the other uh, Google extensions like flights, hotels, maps, uh, and YouTube by default. Uh, so you can have these turned on or off depending if you use them or not. Um, and you can of course disable Gemini if you wanted to by going back to this home screen, selecting on your Google tab, selecting on your profile photo one more time and going down to where it says settings in your settings here if you select on voice for some reason it is in voice you can show or hide the gemini button if you go off you lose that option for gemini up the top but of course if you go back into your profile photo settings voice and then you turn it on you bring your gemini option back up there and there you have it. It is that easy to access Google Gemini from your iPhone. If you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you're on a supercharged raise your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. In the wild, where the trees sway, there's a fox spreading gay.